Hey fam, I want you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. We were at the American Heart Association event Monday, Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, and Bennett College is one of the five institutions that uh, were competing for a $100,000 grant from the American Heart Association to improve healthy outcomes for African Americans. Well, the president of Bennett College, Dr. Uh, uh, Dawkins, she was actually there, and I said, you know what, what the hell, give me an update on what's going on with y'all drama with the accreditation. Here's our conversation. All right, Doc, last time we had you on the show, uh, we were talking about raising the $5 million needed uh, for the accreditation, uh, and you raised an excess of $9 million. And so uh, are you free and clear? What's the status of business accreditation? Yes, we filed a lawsuit against SATS on February 22nd when we did not win our appeal process. So we're in the process, but we are still accredited by SATS, and we're also seeking another accrediting, accreditation from TRACS. So that's obviously shocking to some people because I'm sure you thought, look, if we raise the money, wasn't that the major deal? Uh, you need to raise the amount of money, then all of a sudden you do, then what, the goalposts get moved? Uh, yes, the goalposts moved from February 4th when we submitted our brief to support our appeal. Uh, what we thought was the calculation we needed uh, moved from $5 million to $7 million. But still, in spite of that, we raised, uh, in, ter in terms of uh, submitting prior to the appeal hearing, we had submitted at least $8.2 million in verified funds in spite of the goalposts moving. Uh, and so now you got to spend money on lawyers and things along those lines, uh, which sort of defeats the purpose of raising all the money that was supposed to go to students. Uh, that's correct. Uh, so now we are seeking to raise funds to help with our legal fees. At the same time, provide uh, appropriate services to our students to help us reach our fiscal stability. Now, is there an issue with this, with the accreditation? I mean, is it, uh, I mean, you know, what's the issue here? Because surely uh, that sh had to have thrown you, uh, that, you know, all the fundraising you were doing, then all of a sudden, oh, I'm still having to deal with uh, drama with the accreditation. Right. It's a hard appeal to swallow. We only have one out of 90 standards that we had to address at the time, and that one's on fi financial resources. And so we thought that the only thing we needed to do is raise $5 million that would help our appeals case, but they did not recognize those funds. All right. So that's going to take a year to 18 months. Uh, in the process, um, what are you doing to ensure the future viability of Bennett? So we're also seeking another accreditation from a national accrediting body called TRATS. At the same time, we are accredited by SAT, COC. So it's conceivable that we may maintain two accreditations at the same time. And obviously, for folks who don't understand, uh, in order for your students to be able to qualify for financial aid, right. you have to be accredited. And so those things are too. We, in the case of Morris Brown, they lost their accreditation. Those students uh, who went there, they couldn't qualify for federal loans. That's correct. So the goal is to maintain an, uh, an accreditation, either by SATS or TRATS, and both are recognized by the Department of Education. So both, if we are accredited by either one of those bodies, our students can receive federal financial aid. All right. Well, look, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, and anything you need, be sure to reach out to us, and uh, we'll uh, keep uh, spreading the word on our platform. Well, thank you. Uh, the Roland Martin Show has been good to Bennett College, so thank you for your support. All right, Ben, we're going to keep standing by y'all. You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RollerMartinUnfiltered.com.